Hawaii's Kilauea volcano has erupted again in spectacular fashion, shooting lava 1,000 feet into the sky, according to the United States Geological Survey. On Friday morning, episode 26 of the ongoing eruption at Halemaumau, the crater within the Kilauea caldera at the volcano's summit, erupted. Spewed lava fountains that reached extremely high heights, according to the USGS's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Episode 26 was preceded by small, sporadic splashes and lava outpourings, according to the USGS. Kilauea, one of the world's most active volcanoes and located on the Big Island, has been extremely active in recent months, erupting dozens of times since December. In May, Kilauea also spewed a plume more than 1,000 feet high. On June 11th, an eruption at Kilauea reached more than 330 feet high, according to the USGS. The current eruption began at 1.40 a.m. local time, with lava fountains and lava flows erupting from the northern vent, according to the USGS. The eruption is flowing into a remote area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The flow is confined to the Hale Maumau crater and the southwest side of Kaluapele, Kilauea's summit caldera. The USGS has issued a volcano alert, known as a Code Orange, meaning an eruption is possible or underway, but is either not accompanied by ash or is emitting only a small amount of ash. Emissions of volcanic gases and tephra, fragments of rock, minerals, and glass from lava fountains, may be distributed south of the caldera, as winds are blowing from the north, the USGS said. Other hazards include Pele's hair, strands of volcanic glass often produced by lava fountain activity, crater wall instability, ground cracks and rock falls. <laughs> 